Hello from the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, or CELT. This presentation will go over basic descriptions and engagement tips for selected Stony Brook West Campus course components, in person, online, and hybrid. The first set of course components are in person. Lecture classes meet two to three times per week for about three hours total. Small lectures at Stony Brook can be up to 100 students. To engage students in lecture, use small groups for homeworks and assignments. You don't have to use groups for everything, but think about which assessments would benefit from students connecting with and learning from one another. In addition, use a variety of media such as videos, narrated slides, interactive presentations, reflection points, or polls, and also represent student diversity in your lecture materials. Large lectures can be up to 600 students. This may sound like a barrier for student engagement and active learning, but consider breaking your class into smaller sections, so to speak, of anywhere from 10 to 100 students that can further be divided that graduate TAs or UDTAs can help manage. Use clickers or other polling tools to quickly assess content knowledge with multiple choice questions and spark discussion with opinion polls. Instead of giving only two to three high stakes exams, which may not provide students with an opportunity to bounce back from poor grade, consider incorporating weekly quizzes or other low stakes frequent assessments to check student knowledge. Lab courses are typically paired with a lecture, but some are not. Labs meet one to two times per week for about three to six hours total. Students carry out experiments and hands-on activities. Labs can be more active than lectures by definition, but to keep students on task, ask questions often, both about content and about the lab process. Assign group roles so every student has a job and help students manage their time. Kindly encourage them to move on between activities, give them study tips, and advice for working well in their groups. A seminar course is typically smaller and more interactive than a lecture. A common class size is 20 to 24 students, and seminars vary in credit from one to three, meeting from one to three hours per week. One example at Stony Brook are the two seminars that make up part of our first year student experience. To keep students engaged in a seminar, ask them to talk to a neighbor before opening up a discussion to the whole class. They are more likely comfortable sharing thoughts with one another first, rather than the whole class. Assign graded pre-work related to the seminar content to ensure students are prepared. One suggestion, is a multiple choice quiz that must be completed before or during the first few minutes of class. Or you can give a discussion prompt to spark discussion right away. Finally, seminars are a great chance to give personal attention to each student and be more involved in their learning. You may consider structuring your course to help students build skills each week towards a final course assessment based on a learning goal or student goals outlined in the beginning of the semester. Recitations usually accompany lectures, giving students the opportunity to apply and practice the lecture concepts. Recitation meets one to three times per week for three hours total. Students can solve problems, practice creative writing, do small group activities, and more. Change things up from individual problem solving or practice sessions and incorporate peer review for written or multi-part assignments. Let students generate problems to solve as a class or small group and connect the course content to current events or student experiences. The last type of in-person class we will describe is studio or performance art. Effective teaching strategies range from standard classroom best practices to more individualized tutoring music lessons or studio art facilitation, for example. While this component is typically also more engaging by default, taking the time to get to know your students while being flexible 
encouraging and modeling excellent technique will help to create a comfortable learning environment for your students. There are also several online course components at SBU. Synchronous courses have a specific time and day or days to meet and use web conferencing tools like Zoom and Google Meet. Engagement looks different between in-person and online courses where course organization and fostering communication with and among students are key. To keep students engaged in synchronous online courses, use frequent polling to keep attention focused. If the polls occur at random times throughout the class, students need to stay focused. Use breakout rooms and or shared Google Docs so students can work together and plan time to address course administration and questions from students. Even though you are speaking to them on Zoom, they may feel more disconnected than when in person and be hesitant to ask important questions about course processes. Online asynchronous courses do not meet at a specific time. All materials can be accessed and completed online, typically through Blackboard. You should plan for repeating predictable schedules in your course modules or units. For example, all homework can be due Friday or quizzes are always on Monday. This helps students manage their time and workload with their other courses and obligations, especially since there may be little to no direct interaction between you and the students, except in announcements or emails. To mitigate this, you can hold office hours on Zoom for more interaction with your students. Discussion boards are commonly used in asynchronous courses, so consider having your TAs provide feedback and manage those discussions. An online combined course has a mix of both synchronous meetings and asynchronous material and assignments. To best manage this format, think about what content is best represented synchronously. For example, problem solving assignments could benefit from a small group breakout activity, but direct instruction or lecturing works well asynchronously. To maximize the time spent together, carefully structure activities during synchronous sessions so time is not wasted setting up or while students figure out what to do. Asking for student feedback about the format can help you know how to make changes to further support student success. An online in-person hybrid course is a mix of in-person meetings and required online activity. Similar to other online courses, all directions should be clear and repetitive and there should be consistency and predictability in the course schedule. A flipped classroom approach described on the next slide is one way to engage students in a hybrid course. In a flipped classroom, lecture material is delivered online and in-person class time is used for activities and projects. You can assess if students watched or read the lecture material with brief quizzes or discussion prompts at the start of class. Utilizing open education resources for lectures in this and other online course formats keeps costs down for students and provides an easy way to deliver course content when you are not in person. Varying the types of activities and assessments without overdoing it keeps students interested and lets them represent their learning in different ways, which is one piece of inclusive teaching. Thanks for your attention. If you have any further questions or would like to discuss your teaching with CELT staff, please email celt at stonybrook.edu.